see you. I'm Susan Hendricks. Within 13 hours, 29 people killed in two mass shootings. Texas, Ohio, first to date in the latest. That was Sergeant Gomez there the entire day in El Paso, Texas, as this was unfolding. So many families waking up on this Sunday shattered. We're talking about moms, dads, daughters, families losing loved ones in a senseless, horrific way. Picture this in El Paso, in Texas, a tax-free weekend, the mall packed with parents, children, also in Dayton, Ohio, in a popular area for people to go out on a weekend. We know these shootings happen way too often. Sometimes the shooters want attention to be infamous by inflicting violence and heartbreak on others. So we're going to mention is Ed Levandera, thank you. As Ed mentioned, victims are still inside of that Walmart. It's considered a crime scene. Families devastated, innocent people gunned down while shopping on a Saturday. And you see and feel the panic in this woman's pleas to the media. Just really bizarre on so many levels. Attorney Mark Tate joins me now to discuss. When I first read the headline, it said poisoned. I thought he may have killed his estranged wife. He did not. She had the sound mind to record this to prove it. Right. It would have been tough to prove saying, oh, you could have just taken sure. the Benadryl. Right. But the proof to me says he got a lenient sentence. It certainly seems that way. He's got 60 weekends. Testimony came out, including that he had poisoned her with Adderall, Adderall uh, and laxatives in her uh, protein shakes before. And also he had tampered with her Hence shampoo. Hence the estranged husband term. Sure. I think I know the answer to this. How much say does a judge have in cases like this? Well, Michigan is a state where... Bizarre case all around. Haven't heard of this much, right? Just weekends right. that he can serve. But you did say visiting judge. and There's some backstory. There's Always some good stories. to see you. Nice to see you Thank again. Thank you. Thank you. So, could bad e-cigarettes be linked to severe lung disease. Coming up, 14 young people, they're in the hospital in two states with critical breathing problems. We've touched on this before. That is it today for Weekend Express. Be sure to come back tomorrow for Morning Express with Robin Mead, bright and early, 6 a.m. Eastern time. We now leave you.